Hello. Hello. Where are you from? I'm from England. You won't break my soul. 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 I'm telling everybody. On the previous vlog with Bossy, Tasha Simon. Okay, my salad, I'm having black and salmon, real lobster, poached eggs, mushrooms, red and green peppers, baby. Hey, grandbabies. Welcome to a new vlog thank you guys for being here Woo! big ups to the grandbabies grandbabies we on our way to a basketball game with the chicago bulls let's go bulls let's go chicago stand up while we in that good mood hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button tell somebody about your grandma when i'm in a good mood y'all i just want to tell y'all thank you thank you for always supporting your grandma Big ups to each and every one of y'all. I love you so much. So let's catch this drip. You know the ponytail, none other, but by my new stylist, Ariel, baby. Got this sweater from Rainbow about three years ago. Still in love with it. Y'all remember I got these earrings at the Breeze Supply the other day, $1.49, and they are popping. Like they cost a million bucks. Gucci Bell Duke Store in Atlanta. Jeans, three years old. Can't recall where I got them from. I need y'all to see how these boots coming. All right, now, y'all. Let me show y'all how this jacket I'm compliment this outfit with. Bam. 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 Y'all better not forget what grandma bitch she at. Mm -mm -mm -mm. A big step up, step up, step up. Slow that thing down a little bit. But don't never lose that happy spirit. Let me show y'all this pink purse. I had on some other boots. Baby, my toe was hurting, baby. I don't know if it was the bunny or whatever, the corn, whatever I got going on, baby. It was, it was giving me trouble. But okay, y'all, we standing with this purse, honey. How we coming? All right, y'all. Let me show y'all how the boots look. Hey, grandbabies. I want to try to see the whole drip. Because I got drip for sale. Drip for sale. Okay, y'all. These orange boots came from Akira. They are fire. So we're going to get on up out of here. Like I told you, this little jacket. I don't know where I got this jacket from. Probably Walmart some years ago. Sweater Rainbow. Shane, we already know. It's a belt. Hell, Ariel. Jeans, can't even keep up with it. But let me show y'all my stepping moves. Hey, hey, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. No, you can't rock the camera back. It's Sunday. I got you in the mood on the dance with me on Sunday. Fun day. Sunday, 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 Monday. All right, y'all, we out of here. Let's go see the Bulls. Let's go, Bulls. Let's go. Yeah, I'm sitting here waiting on my friend to pull up so we could go into the Bulls game. I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes, but it ain't no rush. You always in perfect timing, whatever you do. I'm a firm believer. So, uh, I hope y'all liked the previous vlog before this one. It was a lot going on. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to bring y'all that content every time. I'm going to try to bring something. Hit after hit after hit. Um, yeah, my daycare babies, they love the IDC phone for real. I take them somewhere all the time. I just don't be vlogging about it. But since my, grand, my new grandbaby here asked me to take the McDonald's, I thought I'd just... Add it in there, cause he he must have seen the old video with the um uh, us or at the McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? So I'ma just go ahead and be adding it up in there. I just don't want to be putting them on the camera. They mama don't have no problem with it, but you know how it go. 
So, uh, but yeah, we uh about to go up in this Bulls game. Hopefully the Bulls win. Team Bulls, Team Chicago, represent your city, baby. Stand up whatever city you in. Let's go, Bulls. Let's go. But yeah, y'all, I went to see Black Panther. I was out like a light. I ain't some good with night saying, but let's go. He here now. Let's go.
So I'm finna start cleaning up this basement. It got pretty dark, kind of. Let me stand right where the light at. So I'm finna start cleaning up the basement so the man could come finish doing the towels. And he's gonna block this off, make like a closet right there. I have to put some stairs over there to have an emergency exit. Um, I brought in the city garbage can. I'm telling you, you gotta get busy, baby. So let's get busy. Y'all, I had so much dust everywhere that it was in my nose. Y'all should have seen that my nose was white like Santa Claus' hair, honey. But, um, yeah. So, got that out the way. The man gonna be through with the floors tomorrow. I can start bringing in the daycare stuff. Take it out the storage. That's good. That's progress being made. Today is my off day with the daycare kids. But... How many of y'all know that like when you have an off day, it's never an off day. You gotta go do laundry. You gotta go grocery shopping. You gotta clean out a daycare. You gotta clean out the house. It's, it's never a dull moment in your life. You gotta cook, meal prep. You gotta do something. It's never a dull moment. So that's a part of this thing, journey we call life. So today I really have to take care of a lot of business. So I know I always say I'm going to the library, I'm going to the library because when I get in the house, I got a big computer. It got to be at least 26 inch screen or 30 something, 32. I think it's a 32. I got the printer ink, but when I get in the house and get ready to do stuff on the computer, 
I get so sidetracked that I be laying right there sleeping, don't never get nothing done. In that lab area, I zoom in, I be more focused. So that's just my theory. But let me speed it, speed the little conversation up a little bit. Look, y'all see that Ariel, it, it pays to have a communication line with people. Invite new people in your life. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I hit a bump in it and it dropped low. Drop it low to the flow, low, 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 low. Drop it, drop it low, girl. Drop it, drop it low, girl. Drop it, drop it. Low. Yeah, but if you can see in the back, I have some new cots, used, new used cots from Ariel, the girl who stabbed my hair. That's why I'm saying, open up the line of communication, guys. Invite new people in because everybody have a story. And if you tell your story, it come in alignment with theirs and your blessings is tied to people that you know and meet. So she blessed me by selling me those cots for $20. Them cots, four of those cots. So I paid $80 for four cots. Okay, now if you go on Lake Shore or something, four cots is $175. All I have to do is deep clean them and sanitize them. I already got all the sheets for them. So that's a good thing. So I spent $80, I saved $100. Then she sold me that table because I'm trying to make a computer room for the daycare kids, for my bigger kids and little kids. I'm not doing the same things that I used to do. Just make it look like a little daycare playground. No, this is gonna be advanced learning. When all my kids leave out my daycare, graduate or get transferred out or you know how school is you can move on to the next level i want them to be advanced smarter than everybody if I, if i may say so i'm not the smartest person but i can hook them up with resources i can have a librarian come in every week and teach them how to do computers i can have a um, a hispanic lady come in and teach them uh spanish bilingual languages like I'm moving forward with this daycare stuff. If I wouldn't have never had to move, I probably wouldn't have never got these good thoughts. So it's good to have a line of communication because she, Ariel sold me the table for $30. And the table is $273. I got the same blue when she sold me the red one. When you have a vision, you put it out there in the universe and it recycles, baby. It comes to pass, baby. You get to send all your dreams and your visions life size. They 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 come into pass. They, your, your visions are now your lifestyle. And then you get new visions. And there you go. And there we go. And there we go. And then it goes and it goes and it goes. So uh, I'm grateful for that part. So right now I'm on my way to um, uh, Veggie Soul. Soul restaurant to go get me a plate because I haven't ate and that's something else I've been doing wrong too. I don't be eating like I should. I be I'm a very busy person and um I think I put eating last or something, but that ain't cool. So today is the day that I go back to my 14 day fast. Y'all, I hope y'all not eating because I don't want to spoil no one's appetite. But my bowels have been moving without taking some laxatives, with not no chronic constipator like my doctor told me. I was accepting bullshit. I was accepting my own bullshit. Wouldn't change my diet. The older I get, I can't eat what everybody eat. Everybody's different. Somebody else on my channel might be a diabetic. Somebody else might have arthritis. Somebody else might be having their ankles swell up, might have fluid on their body. You know, different walks of life. But I said that to say this. All that stuff boiled down to all our health inflammation and all that stuff that's coming to harm us is from what we put in. The toxicities from these animals, these animals' hormones, these animals are, these animals be having some of them cancer and then we eat the food and guess what lord and, be, lord and behold we got it so uh if you having some type of health problems don't be like me i thank the lord i didn't catch no cancer no 
no illnesses, no nothing. You get what I'm saying? I just got tired of not going to the bathroom like a normal person. Say, for instance, you live with your guy, right? He jump up every morning and go to the restroom, release all that yesterday stuff, right? I jump up. Nothing's happening unless I'm taking some type of detox teas and things of that nature. So I be holding this waist in for like two and three days. My doctor said that's normal. Some people are chronic constipators and things of that. I'm not buying that shit. But she also told me to change my diet. But guess what? I just changed and ate chicken and fish. I don't think I can even eat chicken and fish. So... I'm not going to say I'm perfect and I'm going all the way the raw veggie and fruit diet. I can't say that. I'll be telling myself a feel. I'm not strong in that area yet. But I'm building. I'm building that foundation up. Because I just did at least, at least like 20 some good days. Probably working on 30. So... I, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing the footwork to the footsteps, so it's gonna it's coming to pass. So I haven't ate no chicken. I think I have ate any chicken. So, but I have been eating. I ate salmon and lobster, uh, and I ate some black and catfish. So I will probably be be when my doc, when my salads get boring to me, I probably will be including fish. But I'm telling y'all, I've been, I've it been working, y'all. I don't want to run to medications because I watch my mom use medications, and I think medications is just like if you in pain, it's it's it, it subsides the pain, it soothes the pain, but it's never getting rid of the problem. So I wanted to get rid of the problem. I wanted to see why my toilet was stopped up inside of me. I don't want something to keep flushing it, flushing it out. I want to get to the source. Like, why is it keep getting stopped up? Say, for instance, your toilet in your house. It could be the old pipes rusted. You get what I'm saying? Like, they might got to go in and repipe it. So, I had to go in and re-diet it. You get what I'm saying? Not just keep flushing it out every time with a, with a rod. Flush it out. Nah, I have to. So, that's what been working for me. And this is a disclaimer. I can't say what will work for no one else. But I promise you, it has a lot to do with what we put in. If I drink every day, like I love to drink just like the next person. We could be get cirrhosis to the liver. We could be an alcoholic. Now that you're drunk, now that you're looking for that as an outlet, every time you overwork, you go get a drink. Or every time it's time to turn up and have fun, you go get a drink. Because we put in band-aids on wounds, really. We really need to see why do every time we need to go have a good time, we have to drink. You get what I'm saying? You should be able to have a good time without drinking. I talk so much, y'all. I pass out my day and go stop. So, and also, um, so I just was just telling y'all about my health. Maybe you got a couple of comments and uh, you could tell me about your health. Everybody not going through nothing with their health, and that's a blessing because some of that stuff be going down your uh, your your family history too. I solely believe like in your DNA, like up um, I, I really believe like all that is tied together. You know, like if they if, if your mother had cancer, they test you for cancer. You see what I'm saying? Make sure you don't have the traits and stuff like that. If your mama wasn't that bad, they tested you to make sure you don't have it. But Okay, we're not going to get bored on all that healthy stuff. But it's just life. I'm, I'm doing this journey with you all about my daily life. And that's a part of my life. So I got rid of... I cleaned up the basement. Start bringing stuff in tomorrow. I got to clean upstairs in the house. I love this house. My landlord got everything new model. New fixtures. New... I wonder is my hair dusty too. My hair probably got really dusty too, huh? Since I had all that dust in my nose. But uh, if we want to soul vegan city, uh, I like it there. I'm, I'm glad when I get familiar with other restaurants. I'm going to get us some chickpeas. <laughs> but do y'all, uh, my friend bought me this oil. 
Do y'all wear oils? These be five dollars in Chicago. I don't know if everybody be having them in their city. I, I'm gonna upgrade my life, y'all, eventually. Like, I'm gonna start wearing expensive perfumes like the other YouTubers. This smells so good, y'all. I wish you could smell it. So, I'm just trying to smell a little fresh. Today is not a day I put on any clothes. I got on my workout clothes because I knew today was gonna be about business, you know? Some of your business, you don't have to put on no uh, no no nine to five. Look, at, I tell you. You, man, baby, the other girl got the one that ain't got nothing in here. Um, sometimes you got to put on the ones that you got to get down and dirty, honey. So, uh, I talked to y'all here right for 11 minutes. Y'all, please forgive me. I could go, baby. I, I can go. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I always put this thing. I'm sorry, man. Don't be cursing. He gets too mad at me. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, I talk to y'all, everybody. Y'all don't pay me no attention, y'all. I could talk, honey. Baby, I could talk. I could do a damn talk show. I could do a radio station. <laughs> I can talk. And then, if I mean, ain't been hanging with nobody, baby, I probably need somebody to talk to. So, um, uh, thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all again for everything. And I want to tell y'all one more thing, though. You know what else been going on with me, though? I've been getting lighter. My skin has been getting lighter. I still got to work on my darkness under my eyes. I need to figure out what that's about. I know I lack sleep. See? I lack sleep. I, I'm not a good sleeper, but the young lady, also the natural healer, said that's that come from what you put in so i'm i'm working on me y'all i swear i'm gonna be a better me um okay so we at the restaurant now but i just wanted to let y'all know so the toxins got to be coming out for me to be my skin to be getting lighter you understand what i'm saying you follow me with this i know so yeah, I wish you would do something with me, y'all. I wish somebody would do the challenge with me. Or uh, even if you don't go on like a raw vegan and raw fruit diet with me, I wish somebody would just tell, just do something with me as far as like every day <coughs> put some fruit in your diet for me. Please, y'all, do it. Let's do a 14 day challenge together. Today is the day I'm 14. I mean, today is day one of my 14 day journey. So. I want to know, can y'all please do that with me? Can somebody on this, on my YouTube channel, one of my grandbabies, can y'all please, um, with, uh, eat a fruit every day and in the comments, tell me what fruit you eat. We trying to live a long, prosperous, healthy life. So we had so, uh, I think I, they say they sell everyday tacos. You know what? Tomorrow taco too is the regular or jerk. I popped it in. Me. I'm sick that I get us a vegan taco. Try something out there. Let's go, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all so cute. Oh, my grandbaby's fat. A hit. I brag on my grandkids. My grandkids fat. Baby. Thank you, Malachi. So what do we have here? Right here we have some brown rice and a mixture of pinto, red, and black-eyed peas. Okay. And then we have some jerk seasoned seitan right here. We have buffalo sauce mixed with cauliflower. We have candy yams or sweet potatoes, cabbage, purple cabbage. And then we have sweet and sour tofu and zucchini. Okay. Okay, let's go. We have lasagna right here. We have eggplant with Parmesan cheese right here. Um, we have quiche right here with some eggs, cheese, spinach, and crust. And then we have mac and cheese. All right. What is that? Is that all for you? You want to do the cold bar test? Uh, that's all I eat is the cold bar. Oh, Let's okay. go. So, yeah. so we're doing, what now we're doing? Oh, now we're on the cold bar of the, um, 
of the weight section of food over here. We also have food on the menu, but cold bar right here. Okay, we're Ready? doing the cold bar. Okay. So we have chicken salad, which is uh, made from tofu. And then we have carrot supreme, which is like tuna salad. We have um, potato salad, bean curd. We have chickpeas with curry seasoning. We have uh, pumpkin seed pate. We have broccoli, purple cabbage, cold purple cabbage. And then we have cucumbers and tomatoes and onions right here. We have bean bread, which is basically noodles made from beans and mushrooms inside as well. Uh, we have unsalted kale, we have salted kale, and then we have Southwest salad, which is, you know, corn and black peas and tomatoes and peppers. Um, and then we have a chickpea salad over here with some couscous in it as well. Oh, yeah, chickpeas and couscous and tomatoes. And then we have uh, jalapeno cheese, everything that we need. Um, and then we have dill tofu, so it's seasoned with dill and jalapenos and olives. And then we have artichokes right here and some more couscous at the very end. I thank you. No problem. <laughs> Okay guys, we're having the, blue, the um, berry smoothie again, which have peanut butter and um, blueberries. And I have the lemon water. And I am trying their um, French dressing and their cucumber dressing. And I'm having my infamous chickpeas, tomatoes and cucumbers. My black beard, my black beans and corn, and this time I don't have the parsley salad. I have kale salad. This place be jam packed, guys. Everybody is trying to live healthy and live a long life. Um, also, the root of diseases come from the gut, so a lot of our diseases come from what we put in. So I just wanted to say that, and I'm about to enjoy this meal and um. And thankful to the most high. And thank you, So hey great baby. So I'm sitting in the I'm still in um the vegan restaurant and I met one of the workers here and she's gonna tell you what she has to offer and her lifestyle. So here she goes. I'm a vegan. I've been a vegan. My name is Letitia Williams. I've been a vegan for like six years. Um, I'm into health. I lost a lot of weight. I lost about like over 100 pounds being a vegan. Um, I'm also into trying to get it all out. <laughs> yeah, I'm into herbs and healing and herbal medicine. I make teas, I make um, shea butter, soap, Yanni things, Yanni products, anything, anything um, that's natural I make. Yeah, I make anything. I, I can know I cook, all of that. Do you do it on your Instagram? Do you have Instagram? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my Instagram is Divine Goddess Naturals. You can, if you want anything. You're inter interested in make um. Do you have the private message? Like a message? Yeah, you can message me. Okay. Tell me your name one more time on Facebook. Um, it's Divine Goddess Naturals. Okay. On Instagram. Oh, okay, that's Instagram. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna purchase some Yoni Steam because y'all know I always do the, the Yoni Steam. And we'll be going to get one at the, uh, a new location, probably today as model. And I'm gonna also purchase some from her so I can do it at home. So, what you want? You want to show them some? So, guys, I'm, I'm living this healthy lifestyle, but I'm, I'm doing this healthy lifestyle. Okay, let's go. Show me. Okay. Okay, well, guys, we welcome her to our channel, and we will be going on her Instagram, seeing what she has to offer to offer us more life and more abundantly and healthy. So, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> So guess what, grandbabies? I done made it all the way over here to move my bus. And guess what? <laughs> it's dead. 
It's dead and there's no way I could get a jump right here. I could jump my car to it, look. It's dead, it's been sitting here for months. I miss my baby. I miss you, baby. Oh, Heavenly Father, I miss my bus. Guess I gotta come back. Look at my bus, y'all. It's about to make me cry, y'all. I miss my bus. I miss being a boss. Okay, guys. Trying to move my truck was an epic fail. Trying to move that bus. I've been sitting so long that bad boy need to jump. So, and the parking lot is sitting on the man said I need to scoot it back some because he got some new people on his lot. And they got big old trucks. You know, like dump trucks. 18 wheelers. And they can't get past because of my bus sticking out. I need to scoot to the scoot to the gate. So tomorrow I'm gonna jump it and get it out and get it out the way. But he could continue with his business. I don't want to hold him out for making that coin. And uh, my favorite guy has COVID-19. Thomas. So I'm at Food for Less right now. About to go get Thomas some fruits and veggies to build up his immune system. And I'm going to get, he said, get him some chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup with a soda Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. <laughs> nah, for real, for real. So let's go on up in here and get look out for Thomas. Then I'm going home. I was going to go to the library. I'm just going to do everything at home. But today I'll go to the library tomorrow. And... Sometimes I hate coming outside, y'all, for real, for real. Like when it's my day off, I hate to come outside because guess what? Oh, and I got to run to the laundromat. I got to go to the laundromat and the gym. So you know what? I hate to come outside on my day off. You know what? I left out the house at 12 noon. It's like 5 o'clock already. I've been outside five hours. I hate that shit. And then if it, if it was working, it'd be going slow. But now it's like... You, out. It just goes so fast that they about to be over. I need some rest. So let's go on up in food for less, y'all, to get time and some stuff for him to build up his immune system so he can knock COVID-19 out. And I'm going to help him do it. I'm jumping in with him. Go, Thomas. Beat it up. Beat that COVID-19 up. I'm helping him. So, okay, guys. I'll see y'all up in the stuff. So let's get Thomas stuff to make him feel so much better. I wish you guys could give me some some comments and tell me what Thomas needs. I know he said chicken noodle soup. Oh, that's chicken broth. Let's get Thomas some chicken noodle soup. I wonder should I get enough of his clients so he don't have to cook today because he's not feeling his best. And you know what? I'm going to get me some tomato soup and broths and stuff. I'm going to get me a cup of chicken broth to go with my veggie diet. That, or should I get vegetable? I probably should have got vegetable broth, right? Don't do they sell vegetable broth? <laughs> Look at him, y'all playing on this. Car. Playing on this car, y'all. <laughs> Look at him, y'all. <laughs> that's her husband. <laughs> oh, that's her son, y'all playing on that car. <laughs> 
Okay, y'all, so I got Thomas 10 cans of, of Kroger chicken noodle soup. I'm about to get him some crackers. He said he likes pineapples and he wants lemon juice. Oh, and I'm going to get him some ginger because I know I use ginger for everything. So I'm putting that in his diet as well. Is this the owl with the crackers? We'll see. Okay, let's find some some crackers, y'all. And I gotta get pink some dog food. And we out of here. I wish I even came out the damn door today, but I had to do that up. What the hell about this car? It's just locked. Look at this car, y'all. Now it's hard to pull. Oh, I should get my baby some of this stuff to decorate their cake. They did. Yesterday, my daycare baby did some cupcakes, y'all. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna insert some pictures right here. They came out so cute. Oh my gosh, card. This card did lie. Babies, I got somebody want to say hi to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, though? What's good with y'all? Check me out. Don't forget about me. You got Instagram or Facebook? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm good. My shit already straight. My shit lit on me. Yo, your shit really lit for real? Oh, yeah. Hey, go check it out. Hey. Go check it out. Isaiah Gun Twitter. IG, Facebook, anything. Check it out. Have somebody ever like done something to you or for you and you couldn't wait to pay them back, right? Like say for instance, if you always loan somebody some money, right? And then they when they said when they they said when I get my taxes I'ma loan you some money right, but then they got their taxes and they didn't loan you the money, so all going through your head is I can't wait to get that person back right. That's kind of how I feel about Thomas y'all. I never had like a genuine friend. I about did. I about did. I probably messed up some of the, my relationships too. I ain't gonna just throw that around like that. I, I know I done messed up some good friendships too. So, I, that's how I feel about Thomas, y'all. He done so much for me, like, when I was moving. When we go to church, when we go to Bible class, he packs teas up. He come out with blueberries, teas. Not just a, 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 a tea you just buy in a can or you boil. He takes the time to chop up fruit in there. He make, he make everybody... Who, over, over, if you come into church with three people, he gonna have their teas wrapped nice and warm in one of the little tea warmers. He gonna have the uh, lunch packed up. It's up to you if you be like, nah, I'm gonna just go out to eat. You get what I'm saying? He's that type of person. So I could not wait to get Thomas back, y'all. I couldn't wait till Thomas needed me. So one day we sitting in church I, I opened up his hand. I put a little, a little appreciation in his hand because when I was moving, I, I didn't have what he deserved. You know what I mean? I didn't have what he deserved for what he done for me. So now he got COVID. I'm not happy he got COVID. Take nothing away from what I'm saying. Please, God, don't let it come off like I'm happy that he's ill. And I pray to God that he, he's healed already. And I thank you, God, for that. But I couldn't wait to do something for him. So it was a pleasure. It was an honor for me to go and get Thomas some soups, lemon juice, um, ginger, crackers. It was a honor. It was a blessing. So when somebody do something, sometimes somebody could do something to you like, 
step on your toe, you'd be like, oh, I can't wait to wear my heels, baby. When we go out, I'm going to step on her feet so hard in my heels. I'm going to act like it was an accident, too. But when somebody do something, a good gesture for you, you can't wait to the day you could pay them back. So we bring that, we putting out good energy and we receiving nothing but good energy. On that note, I'll see you guys at the laundromat. Soul. You won't break my soul, I'm telling everybody, everybody.